A super special shout out to my awesome YouTube members and patrons Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yishika Bay, Madlow, Lucky Charms, Sam Medina, and Blaubia Cookie for your amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to Seven Days Today and the Legacy Mod. So, we are going to be facing the day 35 Horde Night. Uh, as you guys can see, it's Warrior Difficulty, Nightmare Speed, and 128 Blood Moon Spawn. So, yeah, uh, day 28 was really tough. So, day 35 with all the cops and stuff, I think it's going to be a nightmare. Um, it is day 35, for those of you that caught the previous episode, you'll know there's a few in-game days missing, and that's because I went mining for some stone, iron, all that stuff, and I went and wrenched every single car in this town, uh, but I actually wish that I actually recorded myself doing it, because I found a few awesome stuff in the cars, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'll show you guys that after Horde Night, um, yeah, also a, rem a reminder for everyone new to the channel, I do have a Discord, uh, link is in the description down below, I'm trying to build the community in there. And then also, for those of you that want to support the channel, uh, please consider becoming a member on YouTube or a Patreon. And if you can't afford it, um, no, no sweat, <laughs> uh, you can also support the channel by liking, commenting, and especially sharing with your friends. Guys, we are about 560 or so subscribers away from 5,000. And my goal is to reach that 5,000 before Alpha 21. So I really, really hope we can do it. Um, and you yeah, remember, at every 1,000 subs, I have a giveaway as well. So yeah, uh, it's going to be fun. <laughs> I just really, really, I, I just, man, I really, really hope we can make 5,000 before Alpha 21. Because I have no idea when that's coming out. But yeah, we're going to face the Day 35 Horde now. Um, after this, this is the last time we're using this Horde base. Because remember, we're moving to the desert. Now, I know that there is a new version of Undead Legacy coming out. It's already an experimental. I just hope we can keep playing without restarting because if we have to restart right now, guys, we finally have a horde base that works really well. Uh, we're about to move to the desert. We started building there. And now, all of a sudden, we have to restart. So, I hope that's not the case. I mean, there's like eight episodes of uh, Apocalypse Now left. Just eight episodes. So I want to replace that with either Exciter's Extreme or Age of Oblivion. But um, yeah, a Darkest Falls, the latest versions, also released. I really want to do that as well. So I have no, I have no idea which ones I'm going to stream or record or any of that yet. So I really, I might want to overwork myself again and do like three episodes a day just to make sure that I can get Darkest Falls in as well and one of the newer mods. Um, on the one hand, I want to stream mods like Exciter's Extreme and Age of Oblivion. Because that's, like, that's the best way to learn. Uh, while I'm streaming, you guys can give me tips and stuff. And then Darkest Falls, I know so much about already. So I can just pre-record those episodes and then have a series on that. So, yeah. But after this Horde Night, uh, I want to show you guys what I found with uh, while mining and uh, wrenching the cars and stuff. And then we're going to take everything over to the new base and they're going to live in the desert biome. It's a shame that we're not facing the Horde there already because the loot we're getting at the moment is not that great. Okay, so we have the sledge turret up here protecting us. Should probably take these away just in case a spider makes it up. Uh, do this. There's no ladder down there. I even put a plate down there because that's where the zombies did the most damage. Guys, we have 133 molotovs. And that's just because I, I could only make that because I have a wrench cards. I wrenched so many cards. We got so much oil that we make that. But I don't think we can actually make any more because we ran out of oil. Uh, nice thing is we can actually make our own oil. And it's already, we have the recipe and everything, but we need resin, uh, oil shale, and then the cans. I wanted to use the cans for like turret ammo, but I mean, if we can make oil, why not? Also, do we have any skills? Wait, that cop wants to vomit at me. That sounded like a cop just vomited at me, uh, and it's through uh, all of that stuff. As you guys can see, we have our wrenching skill maxed out during adventurer, pack meal, sickle current source. Why are you vomiting through the wall? That makes zero. Oh, there's a cop. Okay, that thing didn't pull just now, the pin. I don't know if this isn't too loud because I left everything, or the sound as is. I, should, I think I might just have to lower the volume bit for the sound. Okay, there's gonna be way more cops, so I need to be careful of this. There's already so many cops on that side, damn. Let's probably use this other gun. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This gun. This is the best one, it's like a stomper, it just it instantly nails the zombies. Especially the cops and kills them before they can explode. Nice. Um, the, the nice thing is, even if the zombies were to explode over here... Oh, damn it. Uh, I wouldn't mind the damage to the floor right now because we are going to be moving anyways. 
Guys, slowly but surely we're getting closer and closer to that 128 zombie count. It's gonna be insane. Where's that cop? See you through the smoke. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, damn it. Saw him too late. I actually actually saved the ranged ammo for when the cops get too close. Because even the shot can connect them from this close, but yeah, the ranged ammo is going to work way, way, way better on the cops from a distance that one of vomit at us. I just hope you can get a ton of XP from all of this. Why are you guys vomiting down there? Come on, climb up. I actually wanted to redesign this a little bit so I can see that the new base is nice and wide, so we'll be able to see the zombies from a bit as well. At the moment, I can't throw molotovs a certain way. Uh, for example, yeah, I can't throw it there properly because all of this is in the way. But the new design might actually make this work properly. I'm at... I wanted to hit a few zombies, but I wanted to throw it past them just now. Papa? Oh, there you go, down there. Come on, fall down, fall down, fall down. Damn it. I want to throw past them, but they keep getting in the way every time I throw. Where's that cop? Where's that cop? Where's that cop? Where's that cop? Nice. Like I said, guys, I hope we don't have to restart this uh, the series just because of the new update. But if we have to, we have to. Um, at least now I know so much about... I know way more about the mod now than I knew in the beginning. Which I mean is obvious, but... Ooh, crap. But yeah, now uh, I think if I had to restart, I'd be way, 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 way better. They're vomiting through the walls over here and Feral Sense is not on, so they're not supposed to. Zombies are definitely not supposed to be able to vomit through the walls like that. Or uh, see where you are through the walls and then vomit at the walls. Nice. Dead, 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 dead. I have this gun on me just in case we need like a nice ranged weapon. I uh, put a few mods in as well so it does a little bit more damage than it used to. I have so many monitors I don't have to w worry about wasting. And now that we're going to be living in the desert biome, we won't have to worry as much about gas. We can always just go mine for more oil shale. I also made myself a concrete mixer, guys, so we'll be able to make concrete soon. Although we need, like, uh, stone sand or stone powder or something as well. But I just need to see where to make that. I need to make sure there's no cops in the distance because they keep vomiting, me, uh, vomiting at me when I'm not looking. It's nice when the cops actually come from this side because they don't see it as well. Also, I brought my uh, repair station over here because we don't have any repair kits. So I want to make sure that any time I can just go and repair my weapons. Oh crap, missed. There you go. Yeah, I want to be able to see the zombies better as well. Is there a vulture up here? Was it just cops vomiting at me? Oh, just a cop. But I want to be able to see the zombies better and get shots off. If you look at this now, for example, there's a cop right there. I want to shoot him, but it's incredibly hard past the defense. So if I can tweak the new defense, now that I know what, what the problem is with this one, if I can tweak the new one, it might be really, really awesome. another cop. See, the fact that they're vomiting straight through the wall, or trying to at least, bothers me. Whoa. Aiming, John. Focus on your aiming. Is he dead? He's dead. Okay, so yeah. Um, come on, come on, come on. Give me that XP. Ooh, another cop. See, because they're coming from this side, it makes it really hard. Oh, this thing doesn't really shoot straight. Say, for example, aim there. Sometimes the ammo hits there. Oh crap, uh, please tell me I have water on me. Yes, I do. Don't know why that happened that badly, but okay. I need to focus better as well. We need to kill as many zombies as possible. So we can level up as much as possible as well. I need those sweet, sweet skill points right now. That cop's gonna try and vomit. Okay, we also need some explosives right now. I mean, the Molotovs are epic, don't get me wrong. We're killing so many zombies just because of a few molotovs. But if we can actually make sure that we explode the zombies after they get set alight as well, just to get a little bit more of a bonus damage to them, that would be awesome. I'm gonna hit right in the middle. I don't know if for the next one I should actually make it the same kind of design. Um, and what I mean by that is like the double design of here. The double design works if that breaks, then at least there's still something on the bottom. But it gets in the way. Like, yeah, if I can just throw right there, I'll be able to hit all the zombies at the same time. But I can't because that one falls in the way. Where's that cop? Where's that cop? Just leveled up. Nice. 
Guys, I'm really happy with this design. And I feel it's a non-cheese design because the zombies can't make it to me. Cheese, in my opinion, for those of you wondering why this isn't a cheese design, is if, say for example, we had that block over there and then another one like this on this side and that part was just hanging, that's cheese? Or where the zombie thinks there's a block and they try and run and there's no floor kind of thing. Uh, like the half block designs, I don't really like those designs because I just feel it's cheesing it. Because the zombies think there's a floor and they I know this is technically the same, but it's connected at least to stuff. And there is a floor that they can walk on, they just have to be careful how they run. The kind of design where the zombies can't make it to you at all, that's cheesing it I feel. Okay, uh, they're coming from this direction now, they're starting to do way more damage to the stairs over here. But I have to also pay attention to that with my new design, this is unacceptable. The amount of damage they're doing to these stairs is just, uh uh, no 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 no. Okay, how much more XP do I need to level up, I wonder? I don't see crop. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, 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 hello. This vulture might have actually been able to fly right through if I'm not careful. There's definitely going to be more cops from that side, so as long as I stand like this, we should be fine. Burn, baby, burn. Imagine they were like advanced Molotovs as well. That deal bonus damage. Burns them faster and longer. Like Greek fire. I know Greek fire you can't put out. No cops, right? But just make sure the stairs are safe. Uh, so I don't need to worry about the cops right now. All I need to worry about is making sure the zombies stay on fire. And then we shoot the hell out of this side. I can hold down the trigger, I think. But it's nice for me just to click, click, click. That way I know I don't waste too much ammo. Guys, the amount of ammo, uh, monitors we've already used past 30. It's insane. See, the bullets don't have to kill them. The fire and the little bit of damage you do with the bullet makes them bleed out. There you go. Free XP just like that. I wonder how many times I'm going to level up from this. I hope a lot. There you guys, now that I'm using the uh, late or uh, newer software to uh, edit my videos with, or at least I've been editing my Undead Legacy videos with the new software, um, I could easily have gone and set this off for wrenching all the vehicles in town. I can go wrench that, record how I'm wrenching it, and then play it in like the corner. So you see the horde and then in the top right of here it shows me go mining and stuff. I need to do that more instead of doing stuff off camera. Especially with the items I found in one of the cars. I don't even know which car I found it in, I just was like, oh wow. I think some of you already know what could be that awesome. If you know the mod. Come on, come on, come on, come on, submachine gun. I need a 7.62 weapon. I don't have a 7.62 weapon at all. I'm using that's the M60. So they're going to do too much damage to those blocks, and then the zombies won't want to path there anymore. It's okay, at least that side is done. That's why you always have to have two sides to your entryway. If they destroy the one staircase, you have the other staircase. There's so much smoke from the fire. Look, I love the realism with the smoke, but it makes it so hard to see where the zombies are. I need other traps as well, like turrets or uh, blade traps or something. I think instead of using a junk turret of my own because it's the ammo is too expensive, I'll rather go for like an automatic turret or spikes or something. I know there's automated spikes in the game if I'm not mistaken. If I can use stuff like that, that'll be awesome. Maybe that went straight through. I love the fact that the sledge is actually working over here. You wouldn't think a sledge is enough to get vultures, but since they're going for my head right now, this is perfect. Guys, the zombies haven't even been able to make it over to the door yet over here. After all the zombies we've faced, none of them have come to this side. So this design is perfect in my opinion. I wonder if it would work in Darkest Falls as well. I want to test. Now that we don't uh, no, we don't need electric fence posts, just use some hatches. I think I might be able to do a little bit better. I've always just used electric fence posts in Darkest Falls, but now I see it's not necessary. Nice. I'm just loving the fact that I have this much ammo. With every Horde Knight, I want to use at least 100 Molotovs just to level up. But I noticed you need empty jars. Um, and you can't make empty jars as far as I can see. 
I don't know if it's like in a certain workbench that I have to look. But you need empty jars to make Molotovs and I don't have any empty jars. So that kind of bothers me. I'm so glad I brought this thing. Now can I repair any weapon I want to? Do that. I could easily stand over here as well and let them come to me. But then I'm in the line of sight of uh, the cops. I'll rather stand where I'm safe and just shoot with one side. Man, look at all the loot this time. There's so much loot. But guys, when I wrenched this town, I had to pull up my SUV twice. I don't mean like with gas, I mean like, well, auto gas, but the storage, that's how much weight I was carrying. SUV can only hold, I think, like 1.5 or 1.6. And I had to come back to the base two times to actually drop everything off with the amount of stuff that I got. I mean like engines and wheels and items inside the cars and stuff. It's not even morning yet. Well, it's getting closer, but damn. Someone said the loot doesn't re uh, despawn in 100 Legacy, or it takes a while to despawn. But I wonder how long exactly. Because I've used explosives before, and sometimes, especially in Darkest Falls, you sometimes see that the loot is underneath the block. Because explosions and stuff push them through the blocks. Which kind of sucks. Without meaning to, you lose items, you lose loot. It would be kind of cool if there was an option like auto loot. Whatever the zombies drop, you, you, it's automa automatically added to your inventory. I mean, that would get tough, especially if you're killing a ton of zombies at once. Like some bases kill so many zombies at one time that you get full so fast. But you just have to make sure that your slots are locked and that you have storage boxes by you to drop your stuff in. Come on, come on, come on, the block's in a break. At least if they break that one, they can still stand there and jump up. But I don't think they'll be able to reach on top of that one break, so I'm trying to kill them before that happens. I might just have to tweak the sound so much because this gun is loud. Oh, ooh, they finally broke that, but they're still gonna path, look. See, that's why I added that defense. They still path correctly. Come on. They still path correctly just because I placed the blocks on the right side. Because I have that bonus. See, that's why we have to have that backup block. Because they still path perfect. I mean, if that was a demolisher just now, they take both blocks of them, unfortunately. I'm just glad I can finally use this ammo. I've been meaning to use this ammo for a while. Ooh, if they break that, we might have a problem. If they break that block, they're gonna break the one next to it, and then we have a big issue. Because that's holding up over the fence. Come on, no, 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 no. Ooh, this is bad. Why are you going there? I'm gonna have to re definitely tweak the stairs a bit at least. The stairs are not good at all. I'm actually hoping to break the side so they can move over to the next side because their damage of here is insane. Although the way they're breaking it makes them still part nicely, so I shouldn't be complaining. Oh crap, now I have to do this, they're gonna break the block in the meantime. Come on, fire, do your business. I wonder if you throw multiple Molotovs, if it like enhances the time, the damage, or just not really. If they're already on fire, they're already on fire. Oh, they destroyed two blocks over there, just noticed. Damn. As long as this thing doesn't fail for now, there's almost, there's only a, like a few minutes in game left. So we should be able to last until then, I hope. But a what, what a last horde for this defense, guys. The fact that they're doing this much damage is insane. Oh crap. There's no other ammo, right? Ooh, no, now I'm gonna have to use this loud gun. Man, this gun sucks. I need a better gun than this. You know what? If they if they break the defense, they break the defense. We're just gonna use monotops until morning. Make sure we get as much XP as possible. Just stand over here. Ease, no cops. As long as we make sure the zombies stay on fire, then we should be good to go. They're constantly getting da uh, fire damage, so that should kill them. We do have the shotgun over here, but it only has nine shots left. The nice thing is, if I stand over here, we can easily kill or hit a few zombies at the same time with a shotgun. 
But I don't want to waste these rounds. I'm hoping we get a ton of ammo from this Lord Knight. Damn, the damage. When in game minutes left. If that falls, they're going to start coming from my pillar. Which is fine since it's almost morning and we are going to be moving. But I definitely need to rethink this design for my new, uh, new base. Definitely. There's no way this defense is going to work the same. What if I do this? It'll set a light while they're drowning. They should, right? Just keep them on fire, Jean. Keep them on fire. I had a wandering ward before ward night, so this time we shouldn't have one after. Although so far we've had a wandering ward after every single one, so it's kind of weird that I had one before the ward this time. What's hitting what? Something's hitting a block somewhere. Oh, you guys are going to the bottom as well. That's not nice of you. Damn, I can't believe I ran out of this ammo. Okay, and it is morning. We are going to get a ton of loot right now. Uh, did I bring my vehicle with me? No, I didn't. I'll need it perhaps for some storage of here. Because I no, well then again, I love the fact that this mod doesn't really require storage. As long as you have the carry capacity, you can carry as much items as you can for now. You just have to make sure that you can actually carry the weight, that's all. Wait, why is the wood not stopping? Or are these just ones that spawned in a little bit late? This is definitely not a wandering horde right now. Come on guys, die, 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 die. I'm gonna check something quickly. Kill, kill, kill. There's no zombie, there's no wandering hordes coming in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Spawn zombie. Oh, that's horde knight. Okay, cool. It doesn't seem like we're gonna get a, a wandering horde this time. Which I mean, I'm not complaining of, but why is there still zombies incoming? This kind of bothers me. Okay, we should be able to kill these at least. Please don't tell me there's like a dog or something still waiting over here. So, oh, look at all this loot. I think this is the first time I've gotten this much loot from a Horde Knight. It does seem like every Horde Knight you get more and more and more loot, which is awesome. I need to bleed the zombies better. I mean, this is a green steel spear and we don't really have that many mods on it. Okay, yeah, five, whoa, five points. You know what, before we loot this then, lucky looter, damn it. Nice, what do we need for the next one? Five. Damn, okay. Please tell me that's gonna be enough. I, I can't wait to show you guys what I found while like wrenching all the vehicles and stuff. And I wasn't even wearing the glasses I'm wearing right now. I was just wearing normal nerdy glasses. And the fact that I got what I got, and the level that I got it at is actually awesome. And the biome that I got it in. I think by now those of you who know the game know exactly what I found. <laughs> Getting a ton of ammo which is awesome because we need the shotgun ammo. But I want to do this. Thank you. Ooh, 90 rounds. Nice. And most of these schematics and stuff we're getting right now, we can just go back and scrap right off the bat. Oh, talking about scrap, I also got a scrap axe. This one over here, scrap great axe. It has way more damage than the fire axe I had, so that's awesome. I even went and I chopped it down a ton of trees. Yes, I'll show you right after this exactly what I did. But I did so much in these few Indian days that I'm just... the. If I was to go and record everything, the size would be insane. <laughs> So that's the only good thing about not recording it because my PC would be full. Oh, nice. Okay, Night Stalker. I can just see if I can't start reading some of these books. Oh, hello. Imagine there was something really awesome in it and I'm like, oh, wow, I'm so glad I actually looted it. Okay, so there's no zombie loot or anything on this side. As far as I could see. Nothing left down here. Oh, there's loot up there. Nice. Yeah, give me, give me some shotgun ammo. Give me some shotgun ammo. Yes, nice. Fish tacos. I want to see, should I make those or not? I mean, I'm, I'm guessing you need uh, tuna for it. Anyway, the cans of tuna, so that should be easy enough. Okay. So let me go show you guys what I found while I was out and about. We can actually take this back down. Please don't tell me. Nice. It didn't take any damage, so that's fine. But guys, I just wanted to make sure that I got all the vehicles in this town because of the fact that we're going to be moving. I felt like it would be a waste not renting and looting all the vehicles. So basically, okay, let me just drop all of this. Uh, ooh, just got realized we got a steel ingot from that. Nice. 
Um, Assassin. Nah. We could do that by just actually playing the game. Night Stalker. Uh, no one else see it coming. Bows do 10% more damage at night. We don't really use the bow at night, so I'll scrap that one. Fish tacos. Mmm. See, this is good food. Yeah, let me just read it. I know it might be a waste, but yeah, let's read it. Okay, so we don't really get that much. I mean, we've got a ton of ammo. Yeah, sure. But other than that... Okay, I, I refilled 333 rounds of 556. That's this weapon's ammo. So that's awesome. 762. We have so much 762 rounds of here, and I don't know which weapon uses it. Okay, tools. Okay, that goes over there. Yeah, look at this. Valkyrie Drill, a level D. Guys, I got this. I don't even know which vehicle gave it to me. All I know is that I was looting all the cars, and when I checked my inventory, I was like, what the hell is this? Because it looks weird. I didn't know that this was shaped for the thing. So now we have the jackhammer, and we have the Valkyrie Drill, but we don't have an uh, auger yet. That's kind of funny. Okay, leather gloves, iron chest armor, more ammo. And then weapon stuff I'll put in there for now. I need to see if I can't mod more of my weapons. The more you mod a weapon, the better it's going to do you anyways. Okay, and we put all this here. Look at all this iron we have. Just because I went and I scrapped all those vehicles. And then, yeah, that's about it, right? Steel hinges. I made six more iron storages, guys. I thought about going for like the large steel one. Because basically I can have all my inventory in one of those and that'd be enough. Um, where's the rest of my resin? I was about to say. Yeah, I went and I chopped down a ton of trees. Uh, so as you guys can see, we have a ton of resin and stuff as well. So finally things are starting to look up. I wonder if I shouldn't go for leather clothing. We have purple, purple. Have some iron over here and purple gloves. Look at that. Purple, purple, and all of this is leather. Your stamina will take a knock, but since it's purple, you'll be able to mod the hell out of these. I do need to see if I can't start, um, let me just put this down for now. Uh, I need to see if I can't start upgrading some of my mods and stuff, especially for example, this one. This allows you, wait, modify. This allows you to carry more stuff. It's C. To upgrade this, to be able to carry even more weight. Uh, let's see. What's it going to take? Hmm. 75% chance, but all we need is military fibers. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, don't we have anything we can scrap for military fibers? Come on, please, please, please. We have these. What do we get for that? I think we need five. So three. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna have to try and buy some military fibers then. We only have three. Okay, cool. And we need. Oh, we have two on us. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. So I need to buy five military fibers to upgrade this to B. Because then we'll be able to carry even more weight thanks to this backpack. Nice, nice, nice. Things are finally starting to look up so well. That's another reason, guys, why I don't want to restart right now. I mean, obviously, if I have to, I have to. But who wants to restart after getting this far in the game? Okay, yeah, let's just see. Do that. Do this. Um, yeah, I picked up some of the barrels to make all of the Molotovs. So now we have less barrels we have to worry about. Just that one over there that has 20 left. I think this one still has 60 left. And then these two are both full with 240. So we actually started to run out of gas. I thought it was going to last much, much longer. But it's not lasting as long as I thought it would. Okay, do this, do that. We only need these. Molotovs can go in one stack. And then I did this so it's easier for me to just go and drop everything like so. Where did I put my pick? I definitely had an iron... Oh, there you go. What's it doing in there? Okay, anyways, I want to show you guys this. I went for stone, for large stone. And I dug uh, the depth that this was. I dug one block down because I had it at this level. So it's three high, three wide, all the way to there. So we got a ton of big stone. We were able to make more of these blocks and stuff. Especially these stone blocks because our base is made out of our new base. Um, I actually also went... I mined a little bit in that tunnel down there for some iron. I got one stack, like 1k iron. And that was about it. We have still so much iron down there. I should go and get it. And then I dug all of this clay over here. Oh, yeah. I think I got like a thousand clay and it didn't get in more. I should have probably dug a little bit more because we need more clay, need more bricks and stuff. But yeah, that's basically what I did. That and I went and arranged every single vehicle in town. So the only thing that I'm really disappointed in is the fact that I didn't get this on camera. But at the same time, I didn't even realize I picked this up. So I, I, you'd have to go and watch the whole footage again just to see, okay, where exactly was that picked up? Now this one, um, this one requires advanced repair kits. See, we're going to have to start thinking of advanced repair kits. 
This requires adventure packets. Um, the Valkyrie, if I'm not mistaken, requires adventure packets. That's why the, that's the biggest reason I can't use this now. Even though we found this thing, uh, the durability is really, really low. Uh, its condition is 612 out of 2,200. So that's insanely low. That I'm going to barely use it and it's going to break. I'm going to go to the trader as well and see if we can't get some stuff. I want to sell all of these. I'm going to sell my old fire axe anyways because, I mean, we have a new one. So we have this great axe. So there's no point in keeping the other one. Let me just quickly see what the trader has. Next episode, we have to pack up all the stuff. I think off camera quickly. I'll just pick up all the workstations and then we'll head over. Although I should probably first go and build my base and then come and get my stuff. But that's too much back and forth. That's a heavy waste of gas. And I don't want to waste gas like that. I don't hope I got all the cars. I think I got all the vehicles, except like if they're in a garage or if they're part of the trader. I think I got all of the vehicles, which is awesome. Okay, now, please, I need a crucible or at least a schematic. The schematic is going to cost me 1,000 notes to make. Steel spear. Um, now, I'll rather try and upgrade mine. Let me just see what you have. Renegade. Oh, also, guys, I managed to get two uh, motorcycle wheels, so I'll be able to make a proper motorcycle. Only thing is, I don't think I have the recipe yet, so that's unfortunate. You need the recipe to be able to make the thing. Or at least make the parts of the thing. So if I could buy the, the parts I needed, then awesome. Ooh, 7,000. See, some of these weapons I really want to try out, but they're so expensive to get. Um, I'm thinking of getting all the bricks over here and making even more bricks. We need to make sure that we can actually build that horde base and the base. Remember, it's a, it's a two in one. I want to be able to make sure that we have it built. Ooh, Ooh imagine accidentally selling that. I hope I didn't sell something just now that was mine. Sell all of that. That's 4,000. I'll keep that for now. Okay, so yeah, there's nothing that I really need from you and all want from you. Uh, I need the schematics because I want to be able to go and make more stuff, upgrade more stuff. But we'll see exactly how much we have at the base. I think we have like 200 or 300 or something. Not enough to really make anything new. See, I could buy this. It's only 2,000. I wonder if I shouldn't buy it. Just one. It's going to run out so fast because we don't really have ammo for it and the ammo is a bit expensive. Uh, what I also actually technically need... Oh, 7.62 weapon. Okay, cool. This is what I needed. That's expensive. I don't have anything else I might be able to sell. Mm, I want this, but I want this as well because we need a weapon that fires 7.62. So I think what we should do... Uh, hopefully the other trader has it, but otherwise I'll have to definitely come back. Take and also, it. guys, how do you make jaws? It doesn't seem like you can make empty jars at all. You can make murky water and stuff, but you need the jars. So it seems you can't make the jars at all. You can only make, uh, you can only find it. And then, but that's a problem because uh, the Molotovs require so many uh, jars. Okay, and then the damage during the Horde Night, let's see. Okay, except for, yeah, this place really didn't take that much damage. Except obviously this, this was bad. We need to make sure we have a concrete uh, mixer up and running at the other new base. And then I'm going to have to see if I can't fix all of this. Um, the stairs are too close to this, I think. The way they run up is the problem. But if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time as we move to our new desert base. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.